Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus, and I welcome you guys to part 4 of Let's Play Randomized Fire Emblem 8, following the journey of Erika the Crappy Pegasus Knight and her monstery companions, uh, with 20% increased growth for the enemies. This is chapter 4, Ancient Horrors, and it is actually, I really like this chapter. I have one glaring complaint about it, though, which I'll get to later. But first, one of the things I really like about Sacred Stones, you actually get the battle preparations really really early, and that is always a good thing for me, because then I can toss out the guys that I do not want, I can get the good equipment that I want to get, and I really love the ability to do that early on. Um, door key, don't know why I got that. Uh, there we go. Not gonna use Calm. I really hope I get a Thief in this LP. If I don't get a Thief, I'm gonna have a really bad time. Uh, I also think that the Hammer and the Longbow are really overkill. Also, wow, you get- I didn't notice Arthur's here. Alright, Arthur's an Archer. Crap. That- that means he's benched. Yeah, Archers are terrible. Though, albeit, to give Arthur some- some credit, he does have really nice base strength and speed, but it doesn't matter. The Arthur- Ar Archer class sucks in the Game Boy Advance games, and there's no reason to use them, like, unless you're fear. I think I'll just give the Steel Bow to Seth, then. I think you have to field them on this map, so maybe I'll give him a... Brave Bow, just in case. Just in case he needs to attack something, then he can get that. Uh, but I mainly won't be using him. You also get loot in this chapter, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what loot is. I uh, would, would really like a healer right about now. Um, that would be nice. Just to put it that way, I would really like that. Let's put Mulder a little bit closer. Mulder the boulder is going to stand shoulder to shoulder with the enemies that heal Smolder. Um, Alright, so let's go. So, I really like chapter 4, because it's the player's first encounter with monsters, but I hate the music they selected for this chapter. It's probably one of the biggest mistakes they did in Fire Emblem 8, map design-wise. Like, just listen to this shit. Like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna edit in some music post-production right here. This is the sort of music you want for a map like, oh my god, there's a fucking cycle up there. <laughs> we'll talk about him soon, it's just... Um, so yeah, this is like... This is your supposed to be your first encounter with monsters in Fire Emblem, and... Or at least in Fire Emblem 8. It's supposed to be scary, it's supposed to be dreadful, and they do include a lot of dreadful music later on, but I feel like they really missed the beat here. Because uh, this music would have been so much more, more fitting. Because, uh, as I said, like you want the music to, to match the feelings of the player. This music does not match this the feeling of this map. This is a happy music. And I know it's not supposed to be a difficult map, but still, I really don't like this. Anyway, we have a Cyclops, ladies and gentlemen. You're not supposed to fight these guys this early. Wow, that's actually terrifying. 14 base strength. Uh, sorry, base defense. 44 hit points. And he has a Sword Slayer, so do not send Myrmidons at this guy. In case you're wondering, the Sword Slayer actually isn't the same as a Sword Reaver Axe. It is not effective against swords, it is just effective against Myrmidons. I think it's effective against Mercenaries too, but I actually don't know. Anyway, so we'll start by smoldering the skeleton right here. I am going to feed Mulder so much experience on this map, you guys have no idea. I want him to preferably become a Dark Mage within the next chapter. I think the next chapter is the Seraphue chapter where you get Joshua. It's going to be hard, I think. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can smash this guy. Wow, this guy is hard to hit. Because he's standing in a forest. No, actually, is he standing in a mountain? I think he actually may be standing in a mountain. Anyway, Franz level up. Let's see, hit point... Oh, really, Franz? Really? You're just asking for a Franz Reaver, aren't you? I could give you a Franz Reaver if that's what you really want. This guy's gonna be tough to hit. Maybe er Yeah, he's standing in a mountain. That's why he's so hard to hit. Maybe Erika can get a kill here. If I can hit on both hits. There we go! There we go. So yeah, Erica with the Slim Lance might be able to grab a kill right here. Yep. Lovely. I really have to try hard and feed Erica as much experience as humanly possible if I want her to ever get any good. Uh, so yeah, I'll send Garcia down to deal with that guy. And Jillian is going to be really good against the zombies as well, I dare say. Let's see, can skeletons move in mountains? They can. And this guy doubles loot, so ouch. Uh, that's really bad. 
I guess I can visit the village with uh, Seth. I'm gonna try not to use him that much. Okay, we got an Iron Axe from that. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to use Seth all that much because I need the experience. Bum, dun, dun, ra, ba, ba. Yeah, what I really like, the Revenants are sort of the soldiers of the monster class. They have a lot of hit points, but not a lot of everything else, and they're pretty easy to take down. And they give a lot of experience, so I, I like that. Garcia's uh, second level up, I do believe. Hit points, strength, and defense. Classic Garcia level up. He's, uh, I, I, it's gonna be hard pressed to level speed. I do wonder how he's gonna fare. Yep. Ow, that 2% crit though. I wonder when I'm gonna get my healer. Oh, that has a crit? I think that was a crit, wasn't it? Pretty sure that was a crit. That's hilarious. Alright, so we got some uh, revenants coming in here. I'm probably just gonna take them down with Seth, to be quite honest. See, I, I, okay, so the bows are not effective against the ice. I thought they were, but I guess I was mistaken then. I guess I was mistaken. Uh, yeah, you can only get one S rank. Thought maybe you were able to get two, but no, you're not. Whoop! And I, I definitely think if I'll, if I'll use Jillian, I want him to be a hero, because I think he'll be a kick ass hero. He'll have a lot of strength and defense for sure. But if I don't get a healer soon, I'm gonna have a really bad time in the mid game. Hit points, speed, and defense. Wow, he leveled speed, lovely. That's good. Alright, so let's break down the walls. And I could send Naomi to visit this village. I could actually attack this guy with Naomi from this this area right here because he can't hit me back. So this is a good experience for or good opportunity for Naomi to get some much needed experience. I'm still not sure if I'm going to use Naomi or Vanessa. Naomi does have the advantage of having a r ridiculously good Crimson Eye. The problem is, of course, that it really fucking sucks in terms of its its weights and shit, um, which I really don't like. I could go and recruit loot right now if I wanted to problem with Erika is that she's so fucking squishy. Um, so I don't really think that's a good idea at all. Alright. Mm, there's a lot of bone walkers coming in. A lot of freaking bone walkers. And I need to get to loot fast. And I know there's gonna come some... Some zombies will attack me from behind as well. Oh, hello there. Well, that's stupid. Why would you do that? You could have literally attacked me from one range. Instead, you're gonna get fucking wrecked. That's not a very nice thing to do. Or a very smart thing to do, I should say. Alright, cool. We get to see Larachel, uh, Renak, and Dosla. So, Larachel is a female lord, which kind of sucks. And I don't know which is which, but Renak and uh, Dosla are gonna be a bone sniper and a big dog. I think it's... I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> I really hope Dosla ends up being the dog. That would be really fitting. I wonder how the Bonewalker archers are compared to regular archers, actually. And I see a lot of experience for the boulder right here. I think I'm gonna send him... Yeah, I'm gonna send him up into the mountains. He'll be fucking untouchable up there. And with his great defense... Well, he only has four defense, but he has a lot of hit points, which I really like. Alright, let's go recruit loot. Let's see what she is. She's a dog! Awesome! <laughs> loot, you dog. Alright, really solid base stats on loot. Uh, 9 strength, 15 speed, wow. But she's frail as fuck with 17 hit points, and her hit points growth is pretty terrible as well. But this is gonna be pretty good. Um, I foresee loot being pretty good at dealing damage. Now, of course, the dogs, they're locked to one range, which kinda sucks. Um, and she comes with a fiery fang. I'm not sure if that's an upgraded version or not. She does 14 damage, which is quite a bit. Um, so that's good. I just need to make a, make a shortcut. I'll be back in a moment. All right, my bad. I had to go and uh, fetch something, but I'm back now. Anyway, let's continue. So um, where were we? And we got a lot of uh, bone walkers coming in here with lances. And we got freaking revenants coming over the bridge. We might just have to use Seth here, I think. Mulder's gonna deal with those zombies. What we can do is we can... If we can do 10 damage plus 14 damage, then that's actually gonna be a kill. Let's try. What's the worst thing that can happen? We lose France again? I've already lost him once. I've dealt with it. Uh, there we 
go. At least Julian's in a forest now, so he's slightly more protected. Dun 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 dun. Now, of course, Franz might take a hit here, so I think it's probably for the best to uh, just kill this guy. Oh, that's a crit. That's a six percent crit. And Arthur's safe where he is. Yep. Let's move him down. And uh, I dare say we can start chipping down this guy a little bit now. Can we? Yeah, we can kill this guy with the Crimson Eye. Naomi does need all the experience she can get. Alright, that's good. Alright, so we got this uh we got this guy right now. Um I think it's probably for the best to leave loot around here. And then we can leave Garcia right here with the lens. I guess Vanessa can chip this guy down a little bit. Oh, that's a crit. Bam! 1%! Oh my god! A 1% crit! My god, those are rare. Those are so freaking rare. Alright, hit points, skill, speed, luck, defense, resistance. That is a ridiculously good level up. Maybe I should use both Vanessa and loot. That would actually be kind of cool. Alright, ugh, that 1% crit though. Like, I'm noticing, like, the enemy has a lot of low percentage crit chances. Like, that is really uncommon most most of the time in Sacred Stones. You don't get that a lot. Alright, so a bunch of uh, Bone Walkers are gonna go attack uh, Mulder the Boulder. I don't like those crit chances, Jesus. I'm actually wondering if Mulder can survive this. I mean, in the mountains he'll have 40 extra avoids, so he'll have roughly around a 40% chance of hitting him. And of course, he's gonna get some level ups now, which will help him out. And here comes another Revenant. And Garcia, if he doubles, he will one round this guy. They look just like they, they're deceptively tanky, these guys. They look like they're so much more tanky than they are, but they're really not that tanky. Because they have, like, zero defense. They just. They're like big inflated blobs of hit points. Alright, go loots. Let's check out loots. Hello. Oh! God, I love that animation. It looks so fucking savage. And of course, we're probably going to be seeing Loot's crit animation play out quite a bit now. As much as I would like to give this kill to Loot, I just feel like Erica needs all the help she can get. She really needs all the help she can get. There we go. And... Uh, I think we can leave Mulder here in the mountains to deal with these zombies. He's probably going to do respectively well against them. So we'll just give him all of those kills. Let's get him up to a Dark Mage quickly so he can be more useful. Can we get him to level 10 in this chapter though? I doubt it. No, we cannot. Hit points and speed. I don't mind that. Alright, so I guess we can send uh, Naomi out these guys. Let's see, we... We do need to back off a little bit. Let's see. This guy has how much movement? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if we put... If we put Franz here, we're, we'll, we're gonna have to do something. Guess we can move Gilliam. Do we? Do we? We drink a Vulnerary, I think. Let's do it. Um, I think. We can, like, if we place Jillian right here, he can easily take care of this guy. And then we'll see if we can kill the Bone Walker with Franz. If not, we'll help with, We'll help out with Seth, I suppose. Jillian should be tanking that spot pretty well right now. Let's see, can he kill him, though? He can. Uh, I guess... <coughs> Sorry. I guess we can throw a fireball at the guy, just to get some easy experience, and then Seth can finish him off with the steel bow. It's either that or drink a vulnerary, and honestly, I'm, I am I kind of want to conserve my vulneraries a little bit right now. Feels, fe feels a little bit filthy to give Seth so much experience, but I'm pretty sure we can manage. Alright, so... Sanemi, Vanessa... Yes, I can kill the... I can at least chip the guy a little bit. 
Who knows, maybe she'll get another 2% crits. There we go. Good to Vanessa, giving him the evil evil stare. Alright, so that, that Cyclope moves. Okay, what? They're, not, they're simply just not attacking Mulder now? This is really weird. Um, the Game Boy Advanced AI isn't known for doing this, but I, I remember someone saying that the AI for Sacred Stones is very different from the AI compared to the other Game Boy Advance games. It's a little bit more smart, so it often won't take very unfavorable engagements. So it could be that they're simply not... They're not, like, looking at Mulder as a target they can do a lot of damage to, so they simply just surround him. Which is a little bit weird. Alright, well, um... I guess that means Erika can come in and mop up some experience. Would be really kick-ass to have Erika... Uh, would be really kick-ass to have Erika kill the boss. She would really need the experience. Um, yeah, I'll just do damage to the one that can't retaliate on me. So, <laughs> Mulder is Mulder is busy here, I guess. Is he? Is there enough experience in these guys to actually last him all the way? Nah, nope. All right, so I think at this point. We lure in the eye. Uh, let's see, Jillium has a speed of 8. So this guy is not gonna kill him. If we can lure away the eye, then it's slightly... Oh, what did I do with Erica? Okay, now he's attacking. He even has a 2% crit chance. Yup. Oh, the pupil animation is quite charming. It's really difficult to see when he crits. But it, it, it is there. Okay, so now that guy is attacking as well. And he will get slaughtered. Ooh. Yep. Smoldering. Oh, that, that's a crit. That's a crit. Yeah, it's very subtle. You can't see it that well. But it is there. Alright, then comes the eye. I'm thinking fates like here, like Axe is good against magic. Wait, it's bad against magic. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking about the old weapon or the new weapon triangle. So if, after you played fates for two months, it is quite difficult to go back to Game Boy Advance because you you keep thinking like dual strikes and shit. All right, so Julian level speed. Uh, nothing new there, I suppose. Um, all right, so Garcia, we got a we got a sword slayer right here. Um, that's kind of nasty. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Garcia will be fine right here. I'm gonna place him here, though. It would be so awesome to let Erica finish off these guys. You guys like have no idea how much I want that. Uh, can't do shit against that guy, I'm afraid. Dun 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 dun. We don't wanna. We don't want Franz to get killed by a Bone Walker. That's for sure. I'm gonna bring Seth down here just in case. You never fucking know. Da, 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 da. But I'm really happy with the amount of experience Mulder's gotten. Oh, another crit! Wow! Holy shit, and another level up for the boulder. He's now level 7. Hit points of speed, wow, he's only leveling speed, but you know what, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Alright, boulder kills his last zombie. Dark Mage soon. Probably at the end of the next map, I'm probably gonna get him to level 10. Kinda sucks that they can't promote mid-fights. Really sucks if you have like a level 9 pupil or something at the start of a map. Not that I would justify using a Guiding Ring on him or anything, but still. Oh, the Cyclops is coming in, guys. The Cyclops is coming in. Hey, nice! Experience for Erica. How nice of you, Garcia. What a, what a guy. What a guy. Alright. This should hit, I hope. There we go. My god, that Cyclops is going to rape Erika if she gets within his range. Hit points. Well, it's something, I guess. God damn it, Erika. You're gonna be... Are you gonna... You're gonna be like that, aren't you? Okay, so... We have a Cyclops here that does 20 damage, so he can't one-shot Garcia. Uh, now, 
what worries me about this shit is that, like, I'm afraid that skeletons are, like, hiddenly programmed to be sword fighters or something. Since they have swords, that kind of kind of makes me a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm gonna just gonna send Seth with a bow to, to make him move, and then I'm gonna surround him and kill him. Because you never fucking know if skeletons are, like, secretly programmed to be bow fighters or something. God, this guy is tanky. This is a level 1 Cyclops, guys. Level 1. I'm just gonna let that sink in for a while. Okay, so now it's... That, that, that crit, though. But yeah, you can see, once you equip a... S okay, so, the moment you equip a, so a sword, then it becomes an effective weapon. So, does that, like... Does that, like... You, the only thing you actually need to have is a sword. That's it. Alright, well... We just gotta fucking get him down. Struggles a little bit to hit the fucker. Please hit. Fuck. Okay, that's bad. Worst case scenario, I'm just gonna have to use Seth right here. Seth can actually do pretty decently against this guy. Maybe I should just chip him down, I don't know. I have to kill him this turn. Should have brought Boulder down here. This guy is one tough fucker. Alright. How does Jillian fare? I hate that crit chance, though. I really do. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. I'm just gonna see if Erica even has a chance against this guy. Now she can't even do damage to the fucker. She can do. She can actually do. All right. Yeah. So the the sword slayer is actually. It is a sword reaver axe, I guess. Huh. All right. I was not aware. Uh, okay. So this does absolutely nothing. Uh, this does... Well, there's that crit chance, but still. I'm guessing we're gonna get a couple of those. God, those guys have savage animations. Jesus. <sighs> Alright, so Jillium, what can you do right here? It looks like... Oh, crap. It looks like we're giving the kill to Seth. Eh. We can hammer it. But no, we actually we actually have to kill this kill this guy with Seth. We actually have no choice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seth goes like all oh, arrow. One arrow is all I need. All right, hit points, strength, skill, defense. Seth keeps getting really good level ups. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That is chapter 4, completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. It helps out the channel ever so much. Until next time, my name is Unvanks. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.